No, I think last year was uh, just great for us and we didn't set a lot of goals because you just want to get the, the building blocks of having guys with great attitudes, great work ethic and restoring the pride in USF basketball. What I really value is that I was lucky enough to get a staff that I've worked with before and that we really, we really click. Derek Phelps is our, our calm, quiet leader, unbelievable attitude and like I said, played for Coach Dean Smith. He opens the door to something that, that we wouldn't understand in the sense that we won a national championship, and, but everything goes back to what uh, that culture of winning. We got Todd Golden. I've coached him since he was 17, 18 years old. I've known him for a long time, and having someone that you, you saw go from uh, adolescent to young adult and now a man and family guy, it's just really special and, and just a really good coach. And then we got Coach Hubby who's been with me the longest. We call him Robo Coach. He's a really diligent worker and really passionate. I think our guys understand that and, and it's just a good mix. Also my Coach McPyle, the Director of Basketball Ops, who's my brain. He kind of is the uh, Wizard of Oz guy. He's working the levers back there too. Since we got everybody coming back, mostly Lowen lost one senior last year, they understand where we're coming from as coaches and what our plan is each and every game. And, I think they're just more focused and more determined. The vets are good. They believe in the program. They know how to do it now. They know what to expect. So the newcomers have been able to just step in and, and kind of follow their lead. Chase is a, what we call a six-tool athlete, and that's a guy that can dribble, pass, drive, shoot, defend, rebound, so he's really well-rounded. His personality is starting to come out, and, and our guys really respect what he's about. And he wants to go out with a bang his senior year, so he really focused on keeping our guys together. Yeah, Frankie Ferrari, who has really put in a great offseason. The first thing that comes to my mind is incredibly tough. Um, he's really not afraid to sacrifice his body. Obviously a very, very good shooter, and he has a good feel for the game. And you talk about Matt McCarthy, who's, he can play all three front court positions, really, and he's very versatile, and his ability to guard bigger guys, and then, again, he can switch things and do a lot of things. Aladdin, who's kind of our glue guy, brings us some depth, some size, some toughness, some grit. And then Nate Renfro, who's our captain, he does everything well. He's, a, he's our defensive dynamo out there. He really can guard all five positions. Um, and then he brings the attitude, the work ethic, and leadership that's, you know, would make a great coach. Jordan Martino, I mean, having a guy from the Bay Area and this a really solid, Really good player, was on the all-freshman team last year. Uh, Charles Midland, same thing, coming off a, a great freshman campaign. Uh, dynamic score, um, great personality, good leadership skills. Raymu Wrightson, hard worker, uh, no-nonsense guy, stoic but tough. Uh, stretches the floor for us on the offensive end and then sneaky good defender. And Jimbo Lowe, and he's the, uh, Jimbo could be our X factor as far as, uh, as far as size. He's 6'11", 265. He's an athlete in his conditioning and strength, and you can see in his confidence. We have four very talented newcomers. I think Jamari Bouye and Sule Boom are both very talented guards. We bring a lot more quickness, and uh, we didn't really have that last year. Suli Boom, who's a three-time OAL Player of the Year, he's a scorer. He can really get inside the defense. And he just has, he's a, got a knack for it. And it's kind of a fire and ice combo with Jamari Bouye, who's a country bumpkin from Salinas. Uh, but more of a calm, cool, steady Eddie out there that, but again, really talented. And again, a six-tool guy. Tavi, who's our freshman from Estonia, gives us some great size on the front line, a great athlete, a really nimble player who uh, has an ever uh, appreciating skill set. He played against pros when he was in Europe, so he's not going to play scared. I think teams would treat us differently when he's on the floor because now they can't just sag in the paint, now they're old. Oh, you got to play this guy outside, so it kind of helps our offense a lot more. And then we got Eric Paulson, uh, who's a 6'11", 230-pound stretch center. And the way that Coach Smith likes to play offensively is very important, so he gives us uh, we call him the unicorn because he's a uh, you know six ten in a wide body, but he can really shoot. 
Offensively, I think we should grow a lot in the sense that what we do is somewhat complex and, um, and having so many returners should help us and, and we should be uh, a little more nimble. You're not going to be good unless you defend. We have pretty much the same pieces. Um, I'd be disappointed if we don't make some improvements there. Our biggest strength as a team is that we don't have anybody who's selfish or into their own deal. Everybody's pulling for each other and uh, no matter who's in there, who's in the rotation, who's playing more of the minutes earlier in the year, it doesn't matter. I think the key is just handle success from last year. And I know, like I said, we won 20 games last year and nobody expected anything from us. Now, people are now seeing what we've done. Now, how are you going to handle that? Um, we're honoring the game the way we play. We're honoring the, the guys that played here before. And I think we're, we're on track. Let's, let's see what we can do. Hey!